Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. Gonna do another DIY video today. And let me tell you, this video comes straight from one of my previous videos. So if you're a subscriber, you might've seen that video where I took this orange amp and I added an external speaker jack right here. You can just see that says external speaker. And what that does is it allows you to use this amp as a combo like it's designed, or you can plug in an external cabinet and use it as a head. But based on that video, I've gotten a lot of comments where people have said, I wanna do the opposite. I wanna take my combo and make it so it can be a combo, or I can use it as a cabinet. Don't do that with this, cause you would fry your, your circuit board. You could reverse the wires in this instance and get that effect. But as I kind of talked back and forth with a few people in the comments, I think there's a better way to do it. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm actually gonna rewire a combo so it has a power amp out and a speaker in. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is your guitar amp. And so I'm gonna use this one today. This is a 10 watt amp with a six inch speaker. Somebody just gave this to me because they didn't want it anymore. Um, but you know, it's a basic little, little, uh, uh, you know, wall powered combo amp. Now, the fact that this is a low powered amp, don't let any of that confuse you. All the concepts I'm gonna say today, they would be exactly the same if you're doing this on a 50 watt amp or a 100 watt amp. Any combo is gonna work basically this exact same way. Next, you need a couple of quarter inch mono jacks. And now I have the plastic body jacks here um, just because I wanted to use two that match that I had on hand. You could easily use the metal style that are like inside of a guitar. Those will work fine too. You just need two quarter inch mono jacks that you're gonna use. And then you need about two feet of speaker wire. This is the kind of speaker wire that's coated, uh, you know, red and black, but some of it is like gold and silver. It doesn't matter, you know, speaker wire is speaker wire. But uh, this is about, I don't know, maybe a two foot piece and this should be plenty. And then you're gonna need a couple of quarter inch jack ends. You can get these from a number of places. Uh, you just, it has the actual, you know, uh, interface here where you'll actually wire these up. Now these are the 90 degree angle jacks. I would recommend using those. If you had the straight jacks, those will definitely work. But with the 90 degree angle jacks, I think it's just a lot more elegant. So I would recommend getting a couple of these. And then for tools, you're definitely gonna need your soldering iron and the solder, of course. You're gonna need a drill and some drill bits to drill those holes for the jacks. And then you're gonna need whatever it takes to get your amp apart. In my case, it's a Phillips screwdriver. Depending on your amp, it might be hex heads or whatever, but uh, you know, whatever screwdrivers or whatnot, you need to get the amp apart. And that's basically it. Very simple mod. We're gonna do this here today. Let's get busy.
right, so there we go. We should be done now. And the next thing is to test it. Now, you notice um, I made this a little bit longer than between the two connections just because the space was so short. If you were doing this on a larger amp, you might have a foot or so to work with where you could do a little more with that. Um, if you'd rather, you could do it this way. I mean, there's no reason that it needs to be the way I put it. You could just as easily do it like that or, you know, whatever makes you comfortable. So that's basically as simple as it is. So now the first thing, let's make sure I didn't break anything. So let's test it as is here. So here's a cable. And since we are out in the workshop, I'm just going to grab a cigar box guitar off the wall and let's uh, try it out. It's like it works. Definitely works. Let's uh, try out the new jacks. Okay, so you can see I grabbed a cabinet here. One quick note I wanted to give you. This is a speaker cable. This is an instrument cable. Do they look any different? Not really, and that's my point. Um, so even though these might look very, very similar, they're actually quite different. So speaker cable, and let's plug that between the power out on this and the input on the speaker. Okay, so here we go. We got the uh, speaker out plugged into the eight inch cab here. Oh yeah, and definitely, even though you can't really discern that uh, on the video, I'm going to assume you'll be able to tell there's a lot more bass and, and a little more volume there. definitely sounds a lot fuller coming out of that cap. So we are now using this as a head, and this is our cap. Let's try the opposite. Okay, and so now what I've got hooked up, so I've got the combo we just modified here, and I've got my orange combo, which I showed you at the beginning of the video, and this one already has the speaker out jack. So I've got the speaker out jack going into the speaker in on this, and you can see I don't even have this plugged in right now because it doesn't need the internal, but so there's no internal amplifier amplifying that speaker. And what I should get, Yes, it's definitely coming out of that speaker. Okay, so it's definitely coming out of this speaker. Now, just to show you the comparison, let me unplug it. So that's coming out of the orange. So you can see it now works as a head and a speaker, but let's do something really crazy. Okay, so now I've done it. I've taken this here, and the speaker out, or the power out, is going into this speaker cabinet, okay? And then I've got the power out from here going in to this speaker. So it's functioning as both a head and a cabinet at the same time, only it's a head for this and a cabinet for this. So it's all kinds of crazy messed up. And then I'm using this uh, Y splitter here to make sure that the signal gets to uh, both amps. So now when I play this, and to show you, so this is the orange driving that. And this is the GA10 driving that. Both of them together. Okay, folks, there you have it. So that's kind of a cool way to modify pretty much any guitar combo to make it extremely flexible because this can still function as a combo. It can also function as a head and it can also function as a cabinet. If you like what I do on this channel, folks, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.